Welcome everyone to our fifth match of the day. Mexico versus Mexico. Boys 18 and under. This is determined the world champion. We have number five, Sebastian Longoria. He's the five seed. He took out the one seed, Pablo Vera from Ecuador and Juan Segovia from Colombia. Never lost the game, neither has Trujillo, but they did lose in doubles. Trujillo, first match, Yoel Acha from Bolivia, and then Luis Aguila from Bolivia. So Trujillo went right through Bolivia's both teams to get to the finals. Longoria, a little bit easier road. So it's five versus two, Mexico versus Mexico. Monterrey will be a winner here, ladies and gentlemen. These guys play doubles together. They travel together. They practice together. It's going to be a really good match. I'm Dean Bear. Solo in the booth. Mazarov is on a nap. Taking a nap. I'm going to have to put Pablo on. 0-0. Zero, zero. Sebastian Longoria will serve first. Short serve. The winner will take gold. And the other one will have a silver. Skipped in. This match is not coached from any Mexican coach. They're actually, I think they're all coaching on the girls' 16th finals. That was a ace. It looked like an ace serve. I don't know if he called it good. I think he called it short. Two quick points from Sebastian Longoria. Match just getting started. There's other finals going on all over the club here. Great shot down the line for Longoria cruising to a three point lead, 3-0. Short. Second serve coming up. Set up for Hugh. Sebastian can't get that shot right there. Trujillo, first time in the box, trying to get on the scoreboard. Goes for the cross court to the backhand, comes up short, second serve. Winner for Eric Trujillo. So the first match of the day, we had girls 14 singles. Bolivia came out on top. The second one, girls 12. Guatemala came on top. Girls 18. Bolivia came back on top. And boys 16 already on the championship court. And Mexico took that one. Mexico will win this one, but who will it be? Trujillo or Longoria? Good round the world setup. Kill shot, Sebastian Longoria. Very unorthodox uh, player. Looks like he swings just a little bit different than most, but extremely effective. I want to welcome into the booth with me Felipe Mercado Sandy from Bolivia. Felipe, yeah. uh, first of all, welcome to your first time in the booth here. We got boys, 18 singles. Both of these players, uh, I, I'm sorry, Eric ran through both of the Bolivian 18 juniors uh, in, the, in his two rounds of play. So I'm sure you've seen him play uh, a lot. But we got Mexico versus Mexico. As a country, that's got to be pretty impressive, right? 
Yeah. Uh, Eric and all, all of his crew is, is doing a great job. I mean, uh, I think uh, Eric, I, I've seen him playing two years ago in, in Costa Rica, and he was just, he qualified only for, for doubles. And now his game is, is unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, he definitely stepped it up onto a different level. He's made pro stops for the IRT a few times, and he also uh, went to the round of 16 twice, played Landa once and De La Rosa the other time. So he's seen some high-level racquetball. Yeah. These guys do play a lot. They're doubles partners. That's got to be tough. One's going to be the, go the gold medal, and the other one's going to have the silver. So no matter what, they're going to be able to keep their head up high. Yeah. I'm not sure if they are from the same team. They, they, they yeah, practice together. Yeah, they're both from Monterey. Monterey, oh. That's another winner from Longoria. We need to... S oh. We're going to check the score, but right now we're going to take a timeout. We'll be back right here on the International Racquetball Federation. It's, it's all about passion. I think uh, I, I don't have anything to prove anymore in the sport. Uh, at the beginning of my career, I wanted to be one of the best, but uh, I have nothing to prove. I, I play with no pressure. I'm just enjoying every moment. But uh, when people are cheering for you and 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 stop their whatever they're doing, their jobs or or to go watch uh, you play, I mean that that makes you uh, feel uh, good and. and and makes you uh, want to try it hard for and, and give a good show for that people. I'm a little in front, get your M40 so you can play like me. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 6-2. Sebastian Longoria in the lead and serving. Eric missed an opportunity there. Uh, Felipe, so sometimes I see players that are supposed to win. And, uh, and on paper, Trujillo has the, he's more decorated. Um, and sometimes they come to a world event, especially in the juniors, and they don't win. Do you think that's because of their nerves or loose play? What do you think factors into that? Well, I think every match is different. Uh, you gotta give some some credit to to the players that come here to, to win. Like Longoria is playing very confident. He wants that goal. And I, I think uh, he's doing a perfect job here. So th there's there are chances we've seen every time. Another point, Longoria is cruising at 8-2 now. Short serve. Let's get our scoreboard fixed. Make it nine. Nine, two. Okay, Felipe, you're in charge of the scoreboard now. <laughs> You'll see it's tough to remember. Short serve. Uh, Sebastian is really serving well. He's really controlling that center court mm. position. I think Eric really just needs to stroll a couple of good shots in his favor. But here, loosely. Oh, and a swing and a miss. That's tough. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, Felipe, what do you think of this facility? It's brand new, man. I love it. I love it. I, 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 I wish that Guatemala racquetball grows a lot with this facility, and I think uh, they are doing a pretty good job here. So it's a good, uh, it's a good thing to have a facility like this one. Yeah, they're talking about having Junior Worlds here again. Yeah, yeah, let's see because uh, normally we don't know where is going to be the, the next year, uh, the next uh, Junior Worlds until three or four months before the, the, the tournament.
Good get off the back wall by Trujillo. Sebastian's gonna shoot this into the corner wow. for a winner. Very impressive start to game number one by Sebastian Longoria. Timeout again. It is now 10 2. We'll take a break. Be right back on the International Racquetball Federation. The Colorado Springs Sports Court brings top flight events to Olympic City, USA. Each summer, more than 10,000 competitors gather to compete in the Rocky Mountain State Games. Spectators and competitors from around the world witness the prestigious Broadmoor Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. And the annual Labor Day liftoff blends the scenic beauty of Colorado Springs with an awe-inspiring collection of hot air balloons, music, and fun. To learn more, visit coloradospringsports.org. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Boys 18 singles finals right here. Loose play. Longoria set up, doesn't Whoa. come out of the side wall. Point number 11 for Sebastian Longoria. What is interesting interesting to me in this match is that Longoria is not playing a, a defensive game he's playing all hard and I think uh, Eric I thought that Eric was very adapted to that game and it's working it is working for Sebastian no, well I mean it, it's happened before we've seen on the world stage on the adults Paola Longoria she's one of the best female athletes and racquetball players in the world and she's come to a world games and loses you know because of the pressure the pressure to bring home the gold this is gold medal match right here you yeah. know and maybe Sebastian is in, in, in maybe he's thinking you know what Eric's supposed to beat me he always beats me but now I'm, he's not gonna beat me. It's still 11-2. Yeah. Another side out. Yeah. Pressure, we talk about it a lot. Mm -hmm. How do you get your players involved, uh, you know, from a pressure standpoint? Well, there are many kinds of pressure. Sometimes uh, they have to, to use Many, many uh, tools, you, you have many tools to have. Three. I'm gonna agree with you there. It's very difficult, pressure's difficult to teach. Sure. So sure. just from a coaching standpoint, it needs to be more motivation when you're here. Keep them motivated. Eric looks like he's moving a little bit different now. bit too far out of reach yeah. and a huge vamos from Eric Trujillo girls 18 doubles coming up next Mexico taking on Bolivia another oh, point man. see I said it before uh, Felipe I think you heard me that Eric was really starting to move better, and it's 5-11 and a timeout. Sebastian Longoria will yeah. take a break, too. We'll be back right here on the International Racquetball Federation. Who passes the flag to William Bell from Birmingham. Give a big round of applause. Bill Kibanova.
So now well, it's 6 11. 6 11, a quick serve and return kill by Trujillo. Oh. Skipped in point number seven. So the Eric Trujillo train is charging back right here seven. at 7 11. He's changing up his serve. That's a good get by Trujillo. Longoria is going to shoot lower. And another quick point and a good rally for Eric Trujillo. Definitely didn't start this game that way. Right, Felipe? We saw he started out very, very loose. And this is not Paola's brother, just so for those of you asking in the chat box, there is zero relation. Easy pinch kill for Cambio and switch it up. That's what Cambio means in Espanol. Next year, that will be a point. It's possible. They're talking about changing some rules, but I don't think anything's set in stone just yet. Oh. And another side out from Eric Trujillo. No Def point scored here. Definitely the, the, the moment is switching to the Trujillo side. Yep. Another oh. point. There's a number nine. And, and Eric is the only one cheering himself on. He's doing a really good job uh, doing it. The crowd, yeah. the, the boys 18 just coming in to watch. Trying to see who's going to be crowned the world champion. Set up. Trujillo. Good pick up. But another set up. And another skip shot by Sebastian Longoria. And now it's 10-11. It was 11-5. 11-3, yeah. I think. 11-3, yeah. Oh, nice kill shot. See, that, there's the shot Sebastian needs to take when he's very, you brought it up before, he was very loose, he was very mm -hmm. confident. Let's see what happens. Short. The body language of Sebastian Longoria, it's, it's so stiff. Uh, we, we, you can notice that he's very nervous. Oh. There's a point. He needed that point. He was stuck on 11 for quite some time here. Now we're at 12-10 on our IRF scoreboard. We're using the Gearbox Black Racquetball, ladies and gentlemen, the official ball of the IRF. Check them out online, www.gearboxsports.com. That's a two-bounce get by Longoria. And back in the service box is Eric Trujillo. We would like to see a better ending of this of this game. If, if Longoria plays hard. Oh. That's a flat rollout. Paola does have a brother that plays. His name is Christian. He's actually a referee at this event. Second and final timeout mm. from Sebastian Longoria. He takes a break. We will too. We'll be back on the International Racquetball Federation. It's, it's all about passion. I think... Uh, I don't have anything to prove anymore in the sport. Uh, at the beginning of my career, I wanted to be one of the best, but uh, I have nothing to prove. I, I play with no pressure. I'm just enjoying every moment. But uh, when people are cheering for you and, and, and stop their, whatever they're doing, their jobs, or, or to go watch uh, you play, I mean, that, that makes you uh, feel uh, good and, and, and makes you uh, want to try it hard. For, and, and give a good show for that people. I'm Alvaro Beltran, get your M40 so you can play like me. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I believe that neither one of these guys have another timeout. Trujillo serving 11-12. And a, not a good timeout by Sebastian Longoria. We're knotted up at 12. This is the first time Trujillo was even, except at the start of the game. Oh, that was loose. 
Sebastian didn't make him pay for that mistake, Felipe. You saw it. That ball yeah. was up. That that love serve is working for uh, for Trujillo. Yes. It, it's the Manino love serve. <laughs> at half lob. Oh, oh look at that one. Yeah. He needed that. That's a side out, ladies and gentlemen. Now Longoria is serving. It's his first time serving down in this match. It's 12-13. Skipped no. in, Longoria, Trujillo back in the box at 13-12. Longoria is not moving very well, no. yeah. His confidence, his went, confidence went way down. Went way down, yeah. No. And there's another point. Game point. Wow, you did not think that was gonna happen. Trujillo was down by a bundle. And now he's in the service box mm -hmm. looking to take game one. We shall see. Try, nope, half lob coming up. He's asking the uh, ref to make sure you watch the oh, line. He changed. But here's a setup. Oh, skip. Skipped it in. Very tough to close out the yeah. game. Yeah, yeah, that's that's another kind of pressure. Absolutely, yeah. the hardest Closing play games, safe. closing games. The hardest games. point to get. Sometimes it's very hard to close a game. So let's see how, what Sebastian does. Very decent serve. Oh, a swing a and a miss. He should get two points for that. First one was a swing and a miss, and then he tried to grab it again and swung and missed. Excellent lob serve against the uh, wall. Oh, wow. Wow. Catorce, serviendo Catorce. Anybody's game. We shall see. No timeouts left. Round the world, set up Longoria. Winner. No. Called a replay. Oh, Called yeah. a replay hinder there. It and was. he's going to appeal. A lot of tension on the court. Agreed, agreed. Call stands. Excellent use of the appeal. Now, he doesn't have anyone outside letting him know if he should appeal. It's yeah. got to come from the heart. And it was pretty instant. He thought that yeah. was a kill shot. I think I agree with him. Set up. Off the back wall. Trujillo's there. Wide angle. Wow, wow, what a flat rollout by Eric Trujillo. Wow. But on the, on, the, on the glass side of the wall, they, they are leaving the ball very apt, so. It Correct. Could, yeah. It's very hard to see there. I agree with you. <laughs> so now we go. S second chance for the game. Trujillo yeah. finishes game one, 15-14. Wow, that's all I have to say, Felipe. We'll take a break. We'll be back for the start of game two right here on the International Racquetball Federation. The Colorado Springs Sports Corp brings top flight events to Olympic City, USA. Each summer, more than 10,000 competitors gather to compete in the Rocky Mountain State Games. Spectators and competitors from around the world witness the prestigious Broadmoor Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. And the annual Labor Day liftoff blends the scenic beauty of Colorado Springs with an awe-inspiring collection of hot air balloons, music, and fun. To learn more, visit coloradospringsports.org.
Welcome back. Game two. Different serve. Now, how does Sebastian Longoria rebound? Great pass. Yeah, it was an excellent pass using that glass wall. But how does how does a player, you know, come back after in mean, game two after having that big lead and then giving it up and losing game one? Very difficult. What do you think, Felipe? Can he come back? Yeah, I think of what. Well, it's very hard because Trujillo made made a run in the first game. Let's see. Everything is possible here. Um, okay. You know, you know what is beautiful here. Both are very young, so they don't have they have open mind. Sometimes players, when they grow, they they get fixed ideas. Yeah, and then they keep making those mistakes. But both of these guys really learn from a, each match that they play, which is really good. Ace Z serve. You don't see that too often, but that was fantastic. It's very interesting that Trujillo has a, a, a very wide game, very a lot of tools. And oh, not great. only not only their tools, their pr he's got weapons. He can shoot. Weapons. Yeah. I like to use the word weapons when, when we're talking about some of the, the arsenal that they have. For sure, yeah. I mean, look, he just read that so well. Sebastian had a great down-the-line shot, but Eric mm -hmm. was right behind him, took one step into that shot, and re-ripped it right down the line. Skipped in, point Trujillo. 3-1. This is what we didn't see in game number one. We didn't see Trujillo start really well. There were some people telling me that Trujillo uh, uh, improved a lot because they he went to the to the tour to play in more more IRT stops. Yes, he did. I think it's very important. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you not only are you in a high level match, you know, against a top pro or an adult, but you're also, um, you know, in the front row watching when you're not playing and learning, and that's what I think is important. You can watch from home and and learn a little bit, but the amount that you learn from watching them, like right up front. You saw, yeah. you saw all those kids. When we were in Cochabamba, you yeah. saw all those kids. They didn't miss one match on that glass court. No, yeah. and rightfully so. And how much? How many of them are much better now because of it? Yeah. So. Yeah. One three. That skipped in. I want to thank the Zurich Foundation for supporting the broadcast. I want to thank. Mini Athletics and Court Wars. Check them out. Definitely get your pay-per-view uh, seat. And also Planeta Racquet Bowl. Speaking of Cochabamba, we need to be back there, Felipe. Yeah, we would love to to have a uh, more more tournaments over there. It's very hard to to organize tournaments. Uh, uh, with with the COVID situation, post-pandemic situation, but we will try. I think there are people that would l are trying to organize next year tournaments over there. Perfect. Yeah. Another shot down the line for Sebastian. Seems to be going to Eric's backhand way too much. He needs to take that backhand and go cross court. Once again, ladies, coming up next. Girls, 18 and under doubles, finals. Coming up next. So Trujillo is back with, with that with strategy of, of having a lob serves to the, to the right side, those half lob serves, and is working. Again, they know the, each, these guys know each other well. So they know what works and what doesn't. This is a setup off the back wall, but again, a little loose. Trujillo shots not that loose, Felipe. No return there. Is this game over? No. We'll see. We don't know that, but we got a timeout on the court. We'll take a break. Be back on the international racquetball. 
it's, it's all about passion. I think uh, I, I don't have anything to prove anymore in the sport. Uh, at the beginning of my career, I wanted to be one of the best, but uh, I have nothing to prove. I, I play with no pressure. I'm just enjoying every moment. But uh, when people are cheering for you and 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 stop their whatever they're doing, their jobs or or to go watch uh, you play, I mean that that makes you uh, feel uh, good and 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 makes you uh, want to try it hard. For, and, and give a good show for that people. I'm Alvaro Beltran, get your M40 so you can play like me. Welcome back folks, Dean Bear, Felipe Mercado, Sandy from Bolivia. So Felipe, we have two really you great young Mexican boys playing right now and I know a lot of the players in and people watching it from Monterey, you can see them. And they're, in, they're, they're reading and writing in Spanish, so I need, you to, I need you to welcome all those guys and talk to them. Bienvenidos a la transmisión del, de la Federación Internacional de Racquetbol. Eh, estamos en el Mundial Juvenil, Infanto Juvenil, cerrando este campeonato después de una semana intensa de, de partidos. Estamos aquí con Eric Trujillo y Sebastián Longoria de México, la final de varones 18 individuales. Un saludo a todos los Un saludo a todos los los amigos del racquetbol boliviano, del racquetbol latinoamericano. Eh, aquí vemos que muchos de los jugadores bolivianos y latinoamericanos en general Están dominando eh, el circuito, el, el, la, las categorías juveniles. Y bueno, esperemos que sigan, sigan mejorando. There you have it. Have no clue what you said, but I love it. <laughs> Set up off the back wall for Trujillo down the line. Sebastian's right there. Sailed it in. Oh. Skipped in. Point. 8-3 on the scoreboard. Wow, what a diving get right there. Oh, and he hit the front camera. That's a replay. Oh, but very lucky to Sebastian yeah, because I, that was a very bad shot. Oh, no, absolutely. But the difference we're seeing here, Felipe, and tell me if you see this also, but we see the first game how um, Sebastian was extremely confident, you know, and, and shooting oh, well, ball. moving well. Mm. And he just doesn't have that right now. Yeah, it seems that he's backing down, yeah. I just think he's not fighting as hard as I think he can. Yeah, he's got to believe a little bit more in his hel himself. Great, Great open stance shot right down the line for a winner. 4-8 is the score here. Sebastian Longoria serving. Short serve. I like that you're getting a little more comfortable, Felipe. It's, <laughs> it's not easy, right? Yeah, <laughs> but it's fun it's, talking racquetball. It's racket beautiful. Ball. Yeah, it's beautiful talking racquetball, man. Oh, wow. Yeah. And the fist pump. You know, Eric is very good reading, reading the ball, where he's going to be. Absolutely. This might be tough. Nope, off the back wall. Easy oh, little pinch kill. Great pinch. Timeout. Is Timeout it? for Team Mexico. It's 8 4. We'll be back in the international. The Colorado Springs Sports Corp brings top flight events to Olympic City, USA. 
Each summer, more than 10,000 competitors gather to compete in the Rocky Mountain State Games. Spectators and competitors from around the world witness the prestigious Broadmoor Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. And the annual Labor Day liftoff blends the scenic beauty of Colorado Springs with an awe-inspiring collection of hot air balloons, music, and fun. To learn more, visit coloradospringsports.org. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 4-8, Sebastian Longoria. Mexico versus Mexico. World champion implications here. Gold medal on the line. Goes to the forehand. Pinch winner. Eric Trujillo. Too easy for, for Eric there. He's very confident, yeah, you can they, see. You know, after I, I, coming back last game, mm. confidence is there. Yeah, I think Sebastian is using too much the down the line from the from the back and you know. So it's nine four here. Yep, nine four. Good job on the scoreboard. It's gonna be a setup with the forehand. Flat rollout right there. Trujillo, double digits. Trujillo is feeling it. The, the taste of gold is coming. Set up. Down the line winner. I don't know if there's fight enough in Sebastian Longoria right now. Felipe. Yeah, we would like to see him coming back. Let's see. Wow. Great shot. Not a good serve. For the sake of racquetball, we want a comeback. <laughs> we want a tiebreaker. <laughs> uh, Ooh, skipped in. 5-11. Short serve. Oh, skipped oh. in. He rushed there. 11-5 for Trujillo. Trujillo is trying to close this game, to close a match championship. This might be a tough ceiling ball, and it is. He has to go up top also. Up. Oh, mistake. Set up. Gloria is Great there. Great shot. Great wow. reading. Well, Eric yeah. shot that ball from 39 feet and he pinched it with um, with Sebastian right in front of him. And it was an easy little putback because he didn't, he didn't run all the way up to the front. Said short serve. Bounce get. I don't think screen. it was good. No, he called bounce. the screen. A screen, all right. Trujillo really didn't see it that well, and he was asking for the visual hinder and got it. Second serve. A good pickup. Yeah. There's Too that high. backhand down the line. And he ran in for the pinch and a great smart cross court, but it skipped. Point Trahi uh point Longoria. 6 11 Great shot. I didn't get, no, no good. 8-11, this match is going very, very quick. I would like to see more uh, more shots like that from Sebastian. He, he, he tried not to be readed. Yeah. Correct. So what you're saying is that Eric knows the shot that Sebastian's taken and that one he didn't. 
Great get. Oh, wow. Cambio. Switch it up, ladies and gentlemen. 11-7 on the scoreboard. Trujillo looking to close this out, take home the gold medal. Going back to the love serve. Comes a big setup with the forehand. Oh, and he skipped it in. All stands, appeal used. Players get three appeals, ladies and gentlemen. That's one. Good get off the back glass. Set up, Sebastian Lurie. And a diving get by Trujillo. Great Can't start. get that one. What a great cross-court yeah. pass. And now he's asking for a towel, someone to wipe the floor. We see that Trujillo is pushing Sebastian to, to hit the balls, hit, hit shots from the backhand. And Correct. now Sebastian is very confident with that shot. Yeah, but what he did differently is he went cross-court. Yeah. That was the important part. as they take a few extra seconds here to clean up the court, make sure it's safe for the players to resume play. Sal Saludos a toda la fanaticada del racquetbol, especialmente en México, ya que tenemos dos jugadores mexicanos, a las familias de Sebastián Longoria y de Eric Trujillo. an easy one. These three points are going to be pretty tough for Trujillo. But he came back in game one. Great Cross shot. Cross court pass, winner. Point 13. Two points away. Another good lob serve, but it came off the back wall for an easy kill into the corner. That's difficult to take a shot like that down 13-7 in a championship gold medal match. Maybe he's risking something. Oh, and again, he's had the opportunity. He's so yeah. close to the front wall kill there, and he's just skipping it very easy. He's got. He's reading it well. He's just not yeah. adjusting that shot well. Yeah. Eric reads very well. Here comes a setup with the backhand. And that was a rollout. And he says, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to roll it. Championship point. Match point, ladies and gentlemen, mm. for Eric Trujillo. Yeah. Reverse pinch. Oh. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. World champion. He's going to appeal for a screen serve. One up, one down. Call stands, ladies and gentlemen. World champion, yeah. Eric Trujillo. Congratulations to Eric Trujillo. Yeah. Felicidades a la familia de Eric Trujillo y a él mismo. Yeah, and, and Feliciado is Sebastian Longoria. Come on. Yeah. He's here. Yeah. He made the finals. It's difficult sure, to play yeah. against your buddy, your doubles partner. But unbelievable ladies doubles coming up next for the girls. 18 doubles. That'll be up next. Felipe Mercado, thank you so much for ste uh, stepping in. We'll be back with the girls on the International Racquetball Federation. Who passes the flag to William